Sunshine Network is proud to bring you the Virginia Slims of Florida from Boca Raton. Today's finals are brought to you in part by Honda, maker of fine quality automobiles. Test drive a Honda at your local dealership. And by General Foods International Commons. Celebrate the moments of your life. Center court, the Polo Club Boca Raton. Gabriella Sabatini in the forecourt, charging the net in the first set and slipping her return past Mary Jo Fernandez. At first, it appeared only a simple point at a still young match, but in reality, it meant much more. Mary Jo had injured her hamstring, reaching for the shot. Medical attention was immediate and concerned. We all waited under this blazing Florida sun, along with Gabrielle, hoping that the superb match would continue. We would resume, but only briefly. The lovely Miamian with a valiant heart tried courageously to fight on, but the reality of pain and injury ended her hopes of a Boca Raton crown. And it's Gabriella Sabatini, this tournament's top seed, who advances to today's championship final in the Virginia Slims of Florida. Playing the strings of a racket like a precocious Mozart, two centuries past, teenage prodigy Jennifer Capriati assumes the aura of tennis genius. Against the South American Laura Geldemeister, a nine-year touring pro, Jennifer fought through a first set tiebreaker to earn match point in a second extended set. And like all of her opponents, Lady Laura would surrender to Jennifer game, set, and match, surrendering to exuberant youth and the emotions of the Capriati family and a raucous center court crowd that watched Jennifer Capriati march on. Today, you too are the guest of a tennis phenomenon named Jennifer, enjoying the most remarkable debut in the history of the game. Sunshine Network welcomes you on this sunny Sunday afternoon to the Polo Club Boca Raton. The championship round of the Virginia Slims of Florida. Both singles and doubles action for you. And just ahead, the wonder kid Jennifer Capriati against this turning's top seed, Gabriella Sabatini. It's a picture perfect day in paradise, is it not? The temperature in the low 80s. Now the breeze blustery up to 12 knots and just puffs of white in this Carolina blue sky. Jennifer Capriati's classmates have come here from Palmer Academy in suburban Tampa to root her on. And like the sun here, Jennifer Capriati this week in her professional debut is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Hello again, I'm Paul Kennedy, joined by Grand Slam champion Wendy Turnbull. And have you ever seen anything like the phenomenon that has become Jennifer Capriati? I've never seen anything like it in my life. I'm actually glad that I've retired from singles and I don't have to face <laughs> Jennifer Capriati because she is just absolutely awesome. But she's in, going to have a tough match today against Gabriella Sabatini because Sabatini hits such heavy topspin and it's unlike anything else that Jennifer's ever had to play against. Uh, Sabatini with this top seed here had a bye in the first round and since then has continued to win. Well, she's had a very comfortable uh, a couple of first rounds defeating the Japanese Etsuka Inoue 6-2-7-5 and then a very comfortable match against the tough Italian Raffaella Reggi and then uh, against Dinky Van Rensburg survived a tie break in the second set and an unfortunate uh, win against Mary Jo Fernandez when Mary Jo had to retire at four games all. Of course we remember that Sabatini had to retire herself in the Australian Open so this time the roles were a little reversed and uh, she had the advantage of a forfeit being granted to her. We were all here Tuesday wondering what the debut of Capriati would hold. Well, she won over Mary Lou Daniels and has since won, 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 won. She's 5-0 and oh here. Oh, she's just absolutely incredible. A tough match against Mary Lou Daniels, especially that first set, and then uh, losing a love set to the 15 seed Claudia Porvik of West Germany, but coming through and winning that uh, third set, 6-2, and a great win against Nathalie, Nathalie Torsier of France, the number eight seed, and then also her or quarterfinal match against Helena Sokova, the number four seed, a very experienced player, very comfortable match, taking less than an hour, and then winning two tiebreaker sets against Laura Gildemeister, the number 10 seed, and she's, uh, Jennifer Capriati has won all three tiebreaks that she's played in this tournament, and she's tough at the moment. Well, Humble Wendy has been winning too. You and Elise Bergen are in the double final today against Helena Sokova and Yana Novotna. You have a busy Sunday in store and 
not being able to be two places in one time, we of course now welcome to add to our doubles commentary today, Jeannie Everett Dubin. It's always nice to see an Everett when we come to the Polo Club Boca Raton, and it would be a wonderful final for Wendy if she could overcome what is the top doubles tandem in the world. Right, Sokova and Novotna won Wimbledon last year. They are the top ranked women's doubles team right now, of course, seated one here at the Polo Club. On the other hand, Elise and Wendy, this is their debut tournament, and hopefully they'll have the same success that Jennifer has had and, and really make a good match out of it. Well, Jeannie, too, will be at center court at the conclusion of our singles final. You'll be visiting with both Gabby and uh, Sparky, as Jennifer Capriati mm -hmm. is known. So it's a wonderful day of tennis here, the championship round. Singles and doubles from the Polo Club Boca Raton. And we'll get it underway. Capriati and Sabatini in just a moment. According to the latest estimates, Earth will soon be inhabited by more than 5.2 billion people. Where will they all fit? Sunnyland announces their new all-purpose plant food, containing the seven nutrients plants in Florida lawns need for healthier growth. Sunnyland's all-purpose plant food is water-soluble. Mix it in a pail for indoors. Use it with a sprayer for outdoors or hose attachments for those larger jobs. You'll realize big savings compared to other soluble fertilizers. Sunnyland, helping lawns and gardens look their best since 1884. Sunnyland's all-purpose plant food, available wherever lawn products are sold. Let's team up and show everyone we all have to care about clean air. Team up. Join the Woodsy Team. The Virginia Slims of Florida, the championship match. Jennifer Capriati, the youngest finalist in the history of the sport, against Gabriella Sabatini, a proven international competitor. Speaking of youth, it wasn't but four years ago, Wendy, when Jennifer was all of nine competing with that big racket in her right hand. Well, she has grown, hasn't she? <laughs> she was only a tiny little girl then, and uh, she's also still very young, just two weeks shy of her 14th birthday, but so composed out there. She's five foot six, she told me. She's closer to five foot seven now. She weighs 125 pounds and now lives at Wellesley Chapel in Florida trains at the Bardmore Tennis Academy nearby. The 1989 champion of the French Open Junior, she too, has played on the other side of the Atlantic. And her opponent today, a young lady who won this tournament in 1988, Gabriella Sabatini, last year upset in the quarterfinals by Terry Phelps, and this year just a match away from reclaiming her crown. Well, we all know that uh, Gabriela Sabatini is from Buenos Aires, Argentina. She also lives in Key Biscayne, Florida. And she won tournaments last year, the Lipton Championships, Amelia Island, where she had a great match against Steffi Graf, defeating her in the final. Also won the Italian Open and the Porsche Tennis Classic at Fildestad. And her world ranking on the Virginia Slims computer is now at number three, Steffi Graf. Number one, Martina Navratilova at number two. And Gabriela, number three. Her earnings for 1989 in excess of three quarters of a billion dollars and that's just prize money earnings not it doesn't take into account endorsements and of course the her opponent Jennifer Capriati her endorsements uh, are into the millions now into the seven figures Gabriella has not dropped a set in four matches she has been picture perfect one tiebreaker against Diki Van Rensburg. And a look at the statistics through four matches for Sabatini and five by Capriati. And you see their play quite even. Well, Sabatini's got the, the biggest serve, so, but uh, Capriati has a very good serve as well, coming up with more aces than uh, Gabriella Sabatini, but fewer double faults. And actually, in fact, it doesn't matter how many double faults you serve, it's actually the timing of when you serve them. First serves percentage about the same, and uh, 
but Jennifer Capriati winning a lot more points when she does get her first serve into play. And her father, Stefano Capriati, and her mother, Denise. I'm sure they, they've got butterflies in their stomach right now. <laughs> very nervous and very, very nice people. It's been a magical mystery tour for Stefano Capriati, who met Denise in Spain, put a racket in his daughter's hand at the tender age of three, and there is Gabriella Sabatini's entourage, her father in the center of your screen. Her father, Osvaldo. Her mother is also here, and her brother, Osvaldo Jr., travels with Gabriella most of the time on the Kraft General Foods World Tour. And there's a familiar face to everybody in women's tennis and the world of tennis, Jimmy Evert, father of Chrissy. And Jimmy gave Jennifer Capriati one of her first lessons. And uh, Gen Jimmy Evert thought that he saw the same qualities in Jennifer that he saw in Chrissy at a very early age. An opportunity today for Capriati to become the youngest champion in the history of the game. Already the youngest finalist, as we said, the closest to her, Chris Evert, won her fifth professional tournament. That was the fastest route to the top. Well, Gabriella Sabatini won the toss, and she's elected to receive, hoping that perhaps she might get an early break from Jennifer. It is Capriati with this match's first point. I'm going to make a wild prediction here, Paul. I'm going to predict that Jennifer's going to win this match and the championship. But it may not be so wild. Against the third ranked player in the world. Sabatini's game is power. She displays it there to even us 15 all. Well, Jennifer said last night that she would be practicing against her practice partner, Rich Ashby, who will be hitting a lot of heavy topspin in practice today. Fifteen thirty, Capriati. Diligently trying to prepare for what is Sabatini's strength, and that is the world renowned top spin return. from the most difficult end because she's looking right into the sun when she tosses the ball. But of course, Gabriella will have that end next. Only the fourth double fall by Capriati this entire tournament. A rare mistake. And she falls behind Sabatini, breaks her serve to open the match. This is Sunshine Network, Florida's only sports and public affairs network. March is your lucky month on Sunshine Network with an outstanding lineup of professional and collegiate action. Catch NBA excitement as the Orlando Magic challenge Utah. Dallas, Milwaukee, Miami, and Boston. College basketball continues as the Pac-10, CAA, Metro, and Big East conferences battle it out in the race to the Final Four. College baseball gets into full swing with teams between Georgetown and Florida International, Arizona, and Arizona State. 
Florida Southern and Florida A&M. Tennis fans have a courtside advantage with the Volvo Tournament in Memphis, the Virginia Slims Tournaments from California and Florida, and the EBN World Tournament in Rotterdam. Professional golf tees off with the Ladies Desert Am Invitational, plus highlights of the Dubai Desert Classic and the Royal Caribbean Tournament. Collegiate golf includes the budget UCF Golf Classic from Orlando. March is your lucky month on Sunshine Network. Florida's best. Crystal trophies await our champion today in the singles final of the Virginia Slims of Boca Raton. Gabriela Sabatini with serve, having broken Jennifer to open today's match. Consecutive miss hits by Jennifer. So I think that just shows a little bit of nervousness and uh, Jennifer's just a, a little too eager to get out there and whack that ball. Jennifer might have the most trouble from Gabby's topspin shots as to Jennifer's backhand because of the double-handed backhand, it, the ball sits up so high. Fifteen thirty. And with the ball sitting up so high, Jennifer has to hit it either at shoulder height or above shoulder height, and that's very difficult for the two-handed backhand player. Laura Gildemeister. Jennifer's opponent yesterday said that Capriati hits the ball well when it's coming up to her. Fifteen forty and an opportunity for young Jennifer to break right back. Well, Jennifer likes to hit the ball on the rise. And unfortunately, when you've got such heavy topspin coming at you, that's a difficult thing to do. Sabatini was vulnerable. Well, that, that was a golden opportunity for Jennifer right there and a good service action from Gabriella Sabatini. She gets a body weight going forward into it and this is where Jennifer had the opportunity to break serve. She had too many opportunities, didn't know which shot to hit. Sabatini, and we are even a game apiece. Sabatini's been so successful in this tournament in holding serve, as you would expect. love. Well, there's a lot of pressure on Gabriella Sabatini right now. She's the number one seed and the number three player in the world. Oh. 30 love. Now watch how quickly Jennifer's ready to go again. Jennifer's got a very good service action, very smooth, and really jumps up and into that serve. Just wide. 30-15. 
Jennifer has one of the nicest service actions I've ever seen on a player of such a uh, young age. Gabby won't be able to hit a lot of slice backhands to Jennifer, but Jennifer's backhand is extremely good. Look how she gets her feet in position. That's something that she has to do with a double-handed backhand. And the game is the Capriani. Consecutive games for Jennifer, and she leads the master. Good luck. What are you making? I don't know. Steak? How much chicken? Well, how about that shrimp thing? Mm, I did like salmon. I'll keep looking. Whatever you're thinking of making, come to Albertsons. Sit You'll find a wide selection of guaranteed supreme meats and seafood so? at low prices you can Sit count on. Albertsons. We think like you do. And just your appetite. Down. You're gonna need it. From around the world and throughout the United States, Prime Network brings you the most ATP tennis anywhere. Indoors or under the sun, ATP tennis is fast-paced action with athletes who've become household names. Catch semifinal and final round coverage of the ABN World Tennis Championships from Rotterdam. ATP tennis, served to you on Sunshine Network, a Prime Network affiliate. Hey, sports fan, want to win $100? Just answer six sports trivia questions. Sure, like what? Can't tell. Call 1-900-CAN-I-WIN. Capriati leading Sabatini two games to one. That's Mary Lou Daniels in your picture. The first Capriati victim in her career. Well, she seems to be enjoying this match. <laughs> she stuck around. Time and time again, the backhand has sailed early on Gabriella. <laughs> Sabatini looking at the call. The linesman thinking she had ace Jennifer. Once again, that's just nerves playing a part in that unforced error. She had the opportunity, just a little too eager. Thirty fifteen. This crowd throughout the afternoon will be, as you would imagine, decidedly in favor of the 13-year-old Saddlebrook resident. <laughs> Both groaning and putting everything they've got into each shot. And the velocity of their games similar.
An entertaining point earned by Sabatini. Well, looked like it was going to be a great drop shot from Sabatini. Capriati lucky to get to it, and then she has the opportunity once again. She's swinging just a little bit too much, going for too much when she has the opportunity. Looking to even us at two games apiece in this opening set. Jennifer to all. Sabatini's backhand, she gets her shoulders turned right around. You can see how she hits off the back foot with the backhand and then brings her arm up and over the ball, hitting a lot of heavy topspin. today than winners well it's the final and they're both a little tentative out there and uh, Jennifer's had the opportunity to come up with a couple of winners and just overhit them just being a little too anxious that was her eighth error to the right of the court numerous times setting her up to come back left well she kept Sabatini guessing hitting to the forehand on nearly every occasion then and then when Sabatini's leaning to the forehand side just hitting it to the backhand down the line oh. 1540 Double break point. <laughs> the slice backhand betrayed her. Well, it wasn't the ideal time to hit the drop shot. Gabby was just a little too far back in the court. And she would have had to hit the perfect drop shot to have won that point. Look how far she is right behind the baseline. And that's not where you want to play a drop shot from. happy with that that's great movement by Capriati to all to hit a winner off that shot once she got there that's just fantastic tennis. red deuce of course oh. advantage Capriati 
who throughout her match yesterday with Laura Gildemeister found herself in a position she had to battle back. She said she is mentally tough to do that. Oh, she's mentally tough. There's no question about that. It's hard to believe that she's almost 14 years of age. We return to Deuce. Jennifer right there, but she doesn't give up on any point. Not one shot has she given up in this match. Lunging for everything. And both these play players are going to be exhausted at the end of this match. But it's the championship match, and you've got to chase everything down. set of our singles final. Sunny Lamb's all-purpose plant food is water-soluble, containing the seven nutrients plants in Florida lawns need for healthier growth. Sunny Lamb's all-purpose plant food for the lawn products are sold. According to the latest estimates, Earth will soon be inhabited by more than 5.2 billion people. Where will they all fit? Capital Dateline goes behind the scenes of Florida government and gives you an in-depth look at our state's lawmakers and the political process. When there's an issue in Washington affecting Floridians, Capital Dateline wants to know. Host Steve Wilkinson helps bring that knowledge home to you during his talks with our U.S. congressmen and senators. Capital Dateline keeps you in touch with the latest news and views around Florida. Watch Capital Dateline every Sunday and Wednesday right here on Sunshine Network. Sabatini now having broken Capriati with the lead and service. Fifteen love. Well, all three breaks of service in this set have been from the northern end, where the players are tossing the ball right into that sun. And we'll see if Gabriella can hold serve. The ace, our first today, and that's Sabatini's favourite serve to the juice to the ad court the serve right down the tee that was a perfectly placed service an opportunity for gabby to earn a love game She gets the short ball here from a slice backhand from Gabby, and she steps right into that, even though Gabby was on the backhand side looking for it. Jennifer got a lot of angle with that backhand cross court.
fourth game in this opening set as Jennifer tried to go down the line on the right side. Well, Gabby's running Jennifer around quite a bit, and I think you'll see that Jennifer's getting just a little bit tired in these points. And if we take a look at her now, she does look a little weary. She complained after the match yesterday of having very sore feet. Well, <laughs> she's done a lot of running on these hard courts. to Gabriella because uh, I think Jennifer's finding the heavy topspin shots from Gabby starting to wear her out a little bit and Gabby trying to slow the game down just a fraction because Jennifer does play very quickly. Sabatini turning her back to Jennifer and walking away from the baseline for a moment is now ready. Yesterday against Gildemeister, Capriati trailed identically four to two. A second double fall, and we'll remind you, she suffered only three in five previous matches. but also mentally draining. There's a lot of pressure out there playing in her first professional tournament and reaching the semifinals. that was in it was not well it's also a lot of pressure on Sabatini too she... Sabatini working Capriati around from side to side and poor Jennifer <laughs> she was relieved when that ball went out Sabatini's the number one seed in this tournament she's the number three player in the world there's an awful lot of pressure on her, and she's only 19 years of age, and she's playing someone not even 14 yet. Down 15-30, Capriati, unseated as a wild card. And Gabriella Sabatini, the only seed to survive. She came roaring right back, as she did yesterday. Four games to three, she trailed, but has life again. What does it say? It says you're sick. Okay, I need my prescription, some orange juice, chicken soup. You still want a video? Uh-huh. Get me a love story. Really? Where do I get all this? Go to Albertsons. Why run all over town when you can run right over to Albertsons? You'll find everything you need at low prices that'll save you money. Albertsons. We think like you. I didn't have a love story, so I got you Rambo. What? <laughs> So much has gone into the design of Solitrex. Years of refinement, the finest materials, the strongest, most dependable steel, the sleekest, most efficient form, building in value at every step of design and construction. We know those of you who use Solitrex take pride in your bodies. And at Solitrex, we take pride in knowing that. For a free brochure, call at any time. Watching Sunshine Network. Beatrice Sabatini looking on. Her daughter leads four games to three in the singles final and is serving. At first, the lines person called fault, and then he corrected himself. 
And I think that it should be a service ace to Gabriella Sabatini. Did you correct it? First, second serve. I'm not overruling that ball. Well, it looked like an ace to me, I'm afraid. Uh, but then the lines person, he did signal out, he called out, and then he changed his call to good. But he's sticking with his call. That is it. Love 15. We might be able to see on the replay just how this ball was. You can see that Jennifer actually doesn't have a play on it. From here, it looked good. That was a big point in this game. If Capriati had to do it again, she would have gone to Sabatini's backhand there. Oh, it was a great shot by Gabby, and I'm surprised that Jennifer wasn't looking for the cross-court forehand from Get Sabatini, because Gabby likes that shot. Overhead and very smart of Jennifer to let that ball bounce. It gives her more time to hit it, and it's not quite as difficult as hitting the ball when it's in the air. being treated to some great tennis here today and a great drop shot from Gabby great get by Jennifer but smart play from Gabby to put that lob over Jennifer's head they both come to the net Sabatini wins the duel. Well, it's another great opportunity for Jennifer right there. She, great anticipation from Gabby, looking for that forehand down the line. And that's what won her that point. Serving to lead 5-3. <coughs> This shot, perfect point to play because, because she put a very high defensive lob up, but uh, unable to come up with that winner. But look at Sabatini, she is definitely fired up. And the crowd getting into that point then, and who wouldn't? Unbelievable tennis by both girls. The 6,000 plus here will remember this match for time immemorial. <laughs> 15 love. Ted Tinling, who Bud Collins calls the towering totem of tennis, calls this one of the four great premieres in his 80-year-old lifespan. Capriati's arrival on the tennis scene. She's been broken twice, and 
needless to say, if she should lose serve this time, she would lose the first set. And Jennifer's serve, that serve just going into the net at 82 miles per hour. Oh! <laughs> Swing and a miss. Well, that uh, definitely goes down as an ace for Jennifer. Jennifer serving for the game and a love game as well. Oh. Tinling is here. And he said he is just so happy that this debut occurred in his lifetime, and he was here to see it. This is Sunshine Network, Florida's home for sports and public affairs. I'm Bob Knoll. My official title is Head of Auto Testing for Consumer Reports Magazine. But I really work for you. And there are over 200 people who work for you at Consumer Reports. We test and report on everything from toothpaste to TV. Right now is a good time to try Consumer Reports because you can get a free trial issue with no strings attached. Here are the details. Call now for your free trial issue of Consumer Reports, the magazine that gives you all the pros and cons of a product, including price. Call now for your free trial issue, then decide. When the bill arrives, pay it and get 11 more issues, 12 in all, including the annual buying guide issue, for just $20. Or write cancel on the bill and owe nothing. If you do subscribe, you'll also get two free gifts. The new medicine show, updated and revised, plus the 1990 buying guide issue. To put Consumer Reports to work for you, call now. Call now for Consumer Reports. Call 1-800-624-6700. 1-800-624-6700. Sabatini serving for the set, leading 5-4. And she's serving from the northern end, which is the difficult end when she tosses the ball right into the sun. Oh. A double fall. The first for Gabby. Gabby's not too happy with that call. To be honest, it seems as if Jennifer has benefited from nearly every close line call throughout the week. And Gabby once again going for her first serve down the T-junction to the ad court. And in! The tennis gods are kind. Sabatini have her service broken, serving for the set. That was out of fight, she won. 15-30. Well, Gabby's a real fighter out there. She wants to win here. She's worked extremely hard over the years on her fitness and her the mental side of the game. Some had speculated that having been injured at Australia and with limited match play since, that she might be vulnerable today, not on top of her game. after coming back from her injury at the Australian Open in January would have been the first and second round matches that she played and she came through those quite comfortably. And uh, she's played four matches here at the Virginia Slums of Florida. And until today, she was the youngest player to reach a singles final. 
just one month short of her 15th birthday. And a very big point right now. 5-4 to Sabatini, 30 all. Sabatini taking her time. Jennifer really had nowhere to go. She had to wait till Sabatini hit that shot. And that brings up Sabatini's first set point. And she had to work extremely hard to win that point. Jennifer, she's wearing Jennifer down. moving Capriati from side to side and Capriati just a little unlucky not to win that point. Great movement from Jennifer but look at the amount of court that she has to cover and from side to side from the backhand side to the forehand side and I'm sure Gabby breathed a sigh of relief when that forehand sailed over the baseline. Capriati has dropped two sets in this tournament to today. Sabatini, however, has not dropped one. In the time Capriati did lose a set to Claudia Porvik was the second set in her match. She dropped six love. Fifteen thirty. Capriati service broken twice in the first and fifth games of our first set. Sabatini, she will spy it. Well, it was a short serve from Capriati, and Sabatini just put a lot of weight behind that forehand. Oh! 30, 40. Still break point. Sabatini hoping to start the second set off as she did the first and claim the initial game. Hits. We must remember that it is a little windy out here. It does play havoc with the ball. Crowd's cheers drown 
Jennifer's yes <laughs> emphatically after the return. Well, one of Jennifer's favorite shots is the forehand down the line, whether the, her opponent's on the baseline or at the net. She had a lot of forehand passing shots down the line against Helena Sokova. the return would clear the net well Jennifer having to cover a lot of court once again from deep in the backhand side to deep in the forehand side and the only thing she could do there was throw up the lob which actually barely landed over the net and it was a difficult shot for Sabatini to hit again Miss Precocious has the advantage Foot falls. And Jennifer has been called foot fault in a couple of her other matches. Oh. And what? Yeah. Packed it perfectly, did she not? To hold service. And she takes the initial game. One love. I think it's very important for Jennifer mentally to lead in this second set. If she can, she served first, if she can hold on to, to serve each time and perhaps get a break on Gabby, then her game starts to flow. Jennifer Capriati winning the French Junior yeah. Championship last year, also the US Junior Championship, was a quarter finalist at the Wimbledon Juniors, which won the <laughs> doubles d junior title at Wimbledon and the US. She is the quickest to reach a final professionally. Doing so on <laughs> her first tournament. And her idol, Chris Evert, reaching the final in her fifth tournament, as did Monica Selish. Tracy Austin, another famous American, reaching it in her 11th tournament. Unbelievable. And Andrea Yeager at her 13th. And in terms of years? To turn pro. Jennifer turning pro. 13 years and 11 months. And Kathy Rinaldi was 14 years, four months. Mary Jo Fernandez, 60, 14 years and six months. And Mary Jo, on your screen right now, unfortunate that she had to forfeit to Gabriella Sabatini in their semi-final yesterday when she pulled a hamstring muscle. the overhead smash and once again Jennifer letting that ball bounce a great idea and then just waiting for Sabatini to commit herself <laughs> Sabatini's service broken but once in our opening set that in the second game quite successful with that drop shot especially when it goes to Capriati's backhand she makes sure that Capriati's way over in the forehand side so that she has a lot of ground to cover and the ace her first That's a perfect serve right there, wide to Capriati's forehand. <laughs> great anticipation from Gabby. Wasn't a particularly great volley. 
but she was looking for the forehand from Capriati to go down the line and you can see how she'll move to cover that forehand. <laughs> Percentage drop shot that time. She was trying.